you to the Single on Stiletto Show. I'm Suzanne Oshima, and I'm a matchmaker and dating coach at Dream Bachelor and Bachelorette, and I'm also the founder of Single on Stilettos. Today we have on our show Robert Manning, and he's the author of The Guy's Guy's Guide to Love, and I'm so excited to have him here today because today we're talking about the hot topic of how to bring up being exclusive with a guy. So, Robert, before we jump into this hot topic, first tell our audience a little bit about you. Okay, my background's in marketing and advertising. I'm a novelist. I wrote the book, The Guy's Guy's Guide to Love, which is a kind of a male sex in the city. Mm -hmm. um, I'm also host of a pod weekly podcast on a blog talk radio called Guy's Guy's Radio, and I'm a syndicated blogger and content creator at robertmanny.com, M-A-N-N-I.com. Great. Well, let's just jump into this hot topic. So how can a woman bring up being exclusive with a guy? Well, I mean, there's there's different types of the talk, and you know, when you that term, the talk, kind of scares a lot of guys away because there's the the, the big talk, which is about the state of the relationship and uh, the next step of being exclusive. Mm -hmm. So that's a very special. That is the talk, but a lot of times the guys view that they're getting the talk about a lot of different issues within the relationship. So I think you need to really set this up that it's an important conversation that, that you want to have and I wouldn't do that by text or by phone call but when you broach the subject it, it, it can't be something where he's going to you know retreat into his shell like oh no I left the toilet seat up or something like that he's got to know that it's really something that's close to your heart so I think number one is you have to make sure that he's in the right frame of mind uh, and ready to have a an adult conversation on something that's very important to you and hopefully to him. So, and what I'm hearing from you is it's all about timing, right? The timing is very important. Uh, if, you know, if he had a bad day at the office and he's distracted and the uh, same thing with you, it's not a good time to have a talk. I would also say, you know, right after you guys have kind of gotten it on or whatever, I don't think that's necessarily the time to have a talk because everybody's guard is down then and uh, who knows what you know everybody agreed to everything so that's not a good time but maybe you know on a Friday or Saturday night and you've had a great weekend a great date or whatever and you know it's time to have a conversation and uh, I think it depends on a lot of other factors how long you've been going out together um, kind of what you know about each other uh, the, are you divorced do you have kids does he have kids is he divorced uh, how long have you dated I mean how far have you gone in the relationship uh, but if all those checkpoints are there where it makes perfect sense, and you, let's say you've dated for six months and uh, you really aren't interested in seeing anybody else, that, that might be the time to, to start to have, to have the talk and get a temperature reading from him. Now, if he responds with uh, not wanting to have the talk or a lot of discomfort, I mean, he's giving you somewhat of an answer just by how he responds. That's true. That is true. And do, do you suggest if, if he responds by kind of resisting that she kind of let it go or should she keep pushing? Um, I think you've got every situation is different. Um, I think she should give it a second try, maybe come at it from a different angle. But I think if she lets the guy know that this is something that's been on her mind that's important to her, if he still you know, wants to run and hide, that, that's not a good sign. I think he needs to man up and have the conversation. If he's interested, he should be willing to state that. And if he's not, then he should be willing to state that also. And if, uh, if you're a woman, you're putting yourself kind of out that way. Okay, you don't want to lay your cards on the table and say, this is how I feel. I think you want to find out from the guy, how is he feeling about the relationship? And you might have to prod him a little bit and walk him, walk him along a little bit to get him to start talking about his feelings because it's, it's not easy for a lot of guys to talk about their feelings. So if she tries to get him to talk about his feelings um, about her and the relationship, and do you think she should do that before she brings up the topic of, of exclusivity? Yeah, I think, yeah, yeah, because exclusivity is the, and that, if that's the net result that she's looking for, mm -hmm. I think she's got a sense as to, get a sense as to how he feels about the relationship. Is he happy? Is this, is, is being with her? Uh, uh, you know, making him you know feel really good about himself and about each. They, they feel good about each other, and right. if that's the case, you know, I, I think we would all ask ourselves, "If I'm really happy with this one person, why do I have a need to see a lot of other people?" Now, you know, the person could have been in a marriage or a long-term relationship, or uh, and and just got out of that, and it's a rebound thing. So you don't want to 
you know, every situation is different. You don't want to go too quickly. But if all, you know, all the signals say this is something that looks like it can really work, and a lot of guys will just string things along, you know, the way a guy thinks is if I'm, a, if I'm happy, I don't say anything. Right. If I'm unhappy, I'm going to bring it up, and then I'm going to get a response. Now, the response is either going to make me happy, or it's going to keep me where I am, where I'm, I'm not liking that response. But that's basically all a guy will do about it. A woman, a lot of times, will have a talk where you go around and around until you get some type of consensus, and the woman feels like, the guy is going to feel sometimes like, oh, she has to win. And that's not what the woman's really looking for, but sometimes it comes across that way. When it comes in, but when it comes to the talk, I think you have to really at the point where both people are ready to have the talk, you have to be very clear and then have that talk. And if it, if it necessitates the woman saying, I need to know where you want this relationship to go, then say it because guys are pretty direct and they prefer the direct approach instead of having to go through this whole thing about their feelings. Right. And and I want to just bring up something because I find too many times that some people think that it's just about what they want. And while she may want something that's exclusive, you have to remember this talk is a is a conversation between yes. you and him Absolutely. and getting his input about how he feels about the relationship. It's not just about what you want. It's what you both want and right. coming to the best conclusion possible because too many times a woman will go into this talk going, well, this is what I want, right? Yeah, well, and it, it, that's fine, but I mean, wh ultimately, why would anybody want to be with somebody who doesn't want to be with them? So if you want to be exclusive with somebody and he doesn't want to be exclusive with you, you know, it's like that should tell you something right there. Now, he might not be ready to. Right. He might think that that's just going to happen organically and, and maybe this will be a tipping point where he'll say, you know what, you're right, this, we should do that. Or... Uh, you know, he might need that wake-up call, and I think women are smart to like push that along a little bit. But you don't want to, you don't want to twist his arm. Exactly. You, you don't want to give him an ultimatum. That's the worst thing you can do. Okay. So, so what are some other tips about bringing up this topic to him? Uh, you know, I think you've got to be, uh, you have to act, listen actively, and I think you've got to be gentle about it because. Uh, again, the guys are sometimes uncomfortable talking about their feelings, and he might not exactly know what it is you really want to talk about. And if you're kind of getting the sense that like he's he's being communicative, but he doesn't really get what you're getting at, then uh, again, uh, you can't err by being direct with a guy because men are direct with each other. Exactly. We're mm -hmm. not like we're, we're rarely passive aggressive with each other. Um, and uh, so if you have something to say, you know, and he's not getting it, then just say it and take your chances. That, that would be my advice. It, what do you have to lose? You'll get your answer. Okay. So my last question for you is if it comes down to that he's not ready to be exclusive, what's the best way a woman could walk away with it from this and still feel, you know, have her feelings intact and handle this with grace in a guy's eye? Well, you know, there's different levels of it. He might be, want to be exclusive, but he hadn't thought about it, and he might need a little time to think. And he might uh, have just, again, been in a long-term relationship, and he's not, you know, he's not in the same uh, emotional place in terms of availability as you are. Uh, and I don't think a woman has to walk away feeling any sense of rejection if she's mm -hmm. not getting the exact answer she was looking for. I think if it's left where there's some strings untied there, you can go back and revisit and then get a clearer sense. Because you might have caught the guy off guard where he wasn't expecting that. And maybe he hadn't really, he's having such a great time, he hadn't been really thinking about, oh, I'm never going to date any other women again. This is, this is the one for me. That's a, that's a big step for a lot of guys. So uh, I think you've got to be understanding of men's frailty in that sense and be willing to come back at them a second time. Exactly. Now, if, you the same, if you get avoidance the second time, then that's not good. Then, then maybe you have to like lay it on the line saying, this is, this is what I need going forward. And then if he doesn't get that, then, then you have to make a determination. Are you willing to walk away or not? Yeah, I think that's a really, really good point. So these have been some great tips. So Robert, tell our audience how they can find you. Uh, very simply, you go to my website, robertmanni.com. -N -N There's all types of information about 
the book, the blog, the radio podcast, it's all there. Great. Well, thanks everybody for joining us on the Single on Stiletto show. Our show is available both in video format and podcast format. If you like to view the videos, you can go to singleonstilettos.com. If you'd like to get the podcast, you can download it from iTunes. And if you'd like to get our free report on the top 10 secrets on what attracts a man and what turns him off, you can click right here on the video or you can go to singleonstilettos.com.